Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with iRevviews.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Synology RAID. This is the DS215J, um, and this is also the first video recorded on the GoPro Hero 4 session. So, if the video is kind of weird, um, that's kind of well, that's why, because I can't see when I'm recording. I'm just testing this out um, as the first video. I have it on 1080p, um, 60 frames a second in a wide view, so you might see kind of like stuff around it. It's kind of messy out here because um, my sister did like a New Year's thing out here so everything's everywhere um, the only like really complaint I have against the physical unit itself is I don't know if you can see this on camera but everywhere it's been touched like when setting it up the fingerprints are like turning like they turn like black when they dried I don't know what that is but it has something to do with the white plastic um, casing because my hands were clean when I opened it you know aside from touching the box and everything um, so I really don't know what that is, but it just gets, if you touch the thing, it get, I mean, I know it's meant to be set up and kind of left there, but you have to touch it to set it up, but after that I'd wipe it down because it looks disgusting if you don't. Um, it's sleeping right now. Um, there's status lights right here for status, the uh, LAN, disc 1 and disc 2, um, but it is on, and the fan, the fan runs constantly unless you change the setting to power saving mode, which it'll only run. Uh, when it gets hot enough, but that kind of makes it heat up more. Um, then it has a high and a low setting. I just keep it on high to keep it cool. Um, we have my Ethernet switch right here because we have a lot of, um, like we have the printer, um, the NAS, or the Synology, and then the um, we have a Wi-Fi connected garage door thing. So we have the um, transmitter thingy for that, and then the um, one of them goes to the airport. So it's just to keep the uh, ports in the airport free, because I also have like the Philips Hue and stuff like that that needs an Ethernet connection to work. Um, but this has two two terabyte uh, Western Digital Red NAS drives in it. Um, they're meant for 24/7 operation. They are um, 5200 or 5400 RPM drives, but for an application like this, that that doesn't really matter because the Ethernet's going to slow you down before the drives do, and this isn't meant for files that you continuously access it's meant for storing and backing up um, on the network this also has the um, DSM which is the disk station manager uh, installed on it so you can manage it from that which is a Linux based web based application from Synology really easy to control really easy to set up um, it has a bunch of different features I'll walk you through it um, in another video um, when I do a screen capture with that but you can set up different users you can add uh, like a server to the computer um, so you can access your drives that you're assigned that you have read and write access to on the Synology um, so we have a shared one that everybody can access and then we have an individual one that once you sign in with your user you can you can access and do that kind of stuff um, and store your files on it it's set up in this uh, Synology hybrid RAID which is similar to RAID 1 if one disk fails you pop in another disk and copy it over um, it's pretty much automatic it also has a feature where if you but if you want to upgrade the size you put it in the larger disk first and it will transfer the smaller disk to the larger disk and then you put in your second larger disk to put it back into the RAID and you can just upgrade the size um, you just can't downgrade it because it wouldn't fit all the stuff on there um, or you can run it in just regular two disk mode which it would save some stuff on one disk some stuff on the other you just wouldn't have a backup of the other disk um, which in this application sometimes would be ideal because if you're doing a backup like that you're not really supposed to have your stuff stored on the same you know you're not have to, supposed to have a backup inside the same enclosure or on the same in the same location as your first backup so you really want an offsite backup also like an online uh, drive Google Drive something like that um, But we have it on the computer and we have it on the Synology um, so it's pretty well backed up for for you know just the kind of files that are on there, pictures and stuff like that that we don't want to lose but if they were lost it wouldn't be the end of the world um, and just some documents and stuff like that to transfer between computer to computer. Um, I have two computers, so I, I use it to transfer access files that are stored um, between computers, and we can put things in the shared folder so other members of the family can access it. Um, but that's basically what it's used for here. It's been working great, no issues with it. Um, you have there's a whole bunch of things that I'll have to go to go through in another video that you can do with the uh, DSM and stuff like that. But that's the unit itself. This has been Colin with Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.